Today we're on a field trip for environmental studies. Uh, we're out here actually with a woodshop class from the ninth grade um, because the woodshop teacher is an expert on trees. Okay, this particular evergreen is a yew and uh, yews are extraordinarily important um, medically. There's a, one of the most potent anti-cancer drugs is uh, harvested from the bark of the yew, the Pacific yew. During World War II, um, some GIs who went to Harvard and knew their botany, they, they saw these trees and they said, well, these look like redwood trees. And they took some cuttings back and they went back to Harvard and they said, these are in fact redwood trees. So it's a different variety of redwood. Over millions of years, these trees have acclimated to growing into temperate climates. Recently we were learning about um, the important like ecosystems and we just covered a, a unit on trees and how their roots go underground and they take up a lot of nutrients from nearby sources. You just see trees just walking around every day and you don't really know what type of trees they are. And today like we learned that one of the trees I saw today is actually like a genetically modified tree. I would have had no idea that that even happened. So I think that was probably the coolest takeaway from that. But they're also trying to develop elms that are resistant to the elm blight. And so this may be one of the trees that is resistant. We've been learning in the classroom for a few days about how you know, different trees are you know, interconnected underground uh, and how the different species are able to coexist together uh, and you know, have relationships with their environments like with squirrels and other animals. Um, and so out here we actually got to see in person uh, you know, just how that works. I was really looking forward to this class since I think freshman or sophomore year where I could um, learn more about the environment, not just from an action standpoint, but from a learning standpoint and how we as humans depend on the environment and how the environment depends on us.